ever wondered how resume writers create documents that have this nice shading and pops of color like this one? If you have, you're in luck because I'm going to walk you through what to do here. Now, please don't judge this particular top of a resume. Um, this is the top of a what I would call an executive hybrid style resume. Um, I created this very quickly to give you an idea of how to, to do the shading. Um, but I want to give you a specific example. So right here where it says singer songwriter, that's shading, as is this recent experience section. Now, a lot of people make a mistake and they think that this is created by inserting a shape like this and then writing over the shape. This is not how you do shading. And in fact, if you do this, it might make your resume difficult to read in an applicant tracking system, as some applicant tracking systems aren't accepting of shapes or can't read them. The way that you do shading is, I'm gonna give you a specific example. You write out your word and you highlight it and you go here to the home and you actually click this little paint can. And that's how it's done. So just to kind of recap, you're actually going to this little paintbrush right here, or the paint bucket to create your shading. Now this feature right here is also really nice because that's the borders. And borders is how, if you look at the accomplishments, that's how that section right there was created, is through the borders. So borders and shading can be your friend when you're designing an executive resume. I hope that you enjoyed this tip and have a great day.